I am addicted to my theory, my kingdom way to my theory, uh, where I review DC movies. Okay, so let me talk about that for a second. So each month I have a theme, uh, superhero theory. Like one month I will review uh, the MCU movies. One month I will review Fantastic Four, Flat Earth movies. One month I review uh, Marvel movies. And when I review Marvel movies, I'm not gonna review the MCU movies. I'm gonna just review Marvel movies, movie, uh, Marvel movies that are not part of the MCU movies. Um, one month I will review the DCU movie. That will be next month. Like, you know, cause the Birds of Prey come out, so next month I will review the Birds of Prey and all the other DCU movies. Um, this month I'm gonna review, um, um, DC movie. And not part of DC. DCU. Okay? So, continuing my series of review of DC movie, I'm gonna review Superman 2. Okay? So, um, directed by Richard Lester, starring Christopher Reeve, Jim Hackman, Lady Betty, Jackie, Jackie Cooper, Sarah Douglas, Market Kidder, Jack O'Horan, um, E.G. Marshall, Marshall, um, sorry, uh, release date was June 19, 1981. Running time 127 minutes. Budget 54 million. Box office 190.4 million. Um, one of the biggest issues with this movie, it had two directors. Uh, uh, there was a uh, Richard Donner cut of Superman 2, and um, there was a. Uh, let me see what else. Um, And a Richard Lecter direct, direct movie. Okay? Um, so, on the DVD box that, a little DVD box that I have, which is all four of them, could you read? Uh, on the back of it, it says, um, let's see here, uh, Richard Lecter. So I watched the Richard Lecter version. Okay? Um, now, um, now, when, when, when you watch Superman the movie, the beginning of the movie, you see these, these people in prison on Krypton, and they're talking about, they're crying, guilty, guilty, and then they can stand off his face, you think they're going to be late on the movie, they think that you think they're going to be the villain, the main villain of the movie, later on in the movie. Uh, but you didn't know it was going to be uh, Let Luther. Um, and then they become the villain, uh, General Dyer and them, until Superman 2. Okay? And you, and they do become the villain of Superman 2, not Superman the movie. Okay? So, but like when you watch Superman the movie, and you see that thing at the beginning of the movie, open, the opening scene of the movie, you think they're going to become the villain. Uh, so, that 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 would that would always been the tricky part I have every time I every time I watch that movie, Superman the movie. Now Superman two, um, uh, the only problem I had with this movie were like like the um, uh, the opening theme for like ten minutes. We only got that. It like a, it like a flashback. It like going back over to like his history. Real quick, uh, like his mom or Krypton put him in the thing, sent him off, sent him off to Earth. Uh, he landed on Earth, and the monster and Jonathan, and then they find him, and then he raised the uh, uh, the, the, the truck up. His dad died. I mean, we all saw all that, and um, uh. And then in this movie, you see, uh, that's the only part, that's the only part of the movie that I think it hurts the movie for me. I'm like, what? We always saw that. Why won't, won't I watch Superman the movie again when I already saw that? I want to watch Superman too. And that, the opening thing in the movie, like, it like, um, 10 minutes. 
And um so um so uh uh let Luther back in it, him and Otis start in uh, prison, they escape uh some people might think uh, let Luther is one of the most boring uh, villains of, of all time, but but he super he like Superman more iconic villain. So like Joker is Batman more iconic villain. Okay? So could they do could they do a let Luther solo movie so like they did Joker? Probably they could. It'd be, it'd be interesting. Um Now, there's a thing where you see, you see the guy in the cop car, and if you've seen the Game Boy movie, Live and Let Die, you know that that's the same guy from that movie, Live and Let Die, J.D. Pepper. But in this movie, he played he play the chair, but yeah, so you know it's that same actor. When I saw him, I'm like, hey, that's the same guy that was in Live and Let Die, J.D. Pepper. Okay, so I like that. Um, so this is this is the movie where uh, Superman fight General Dodd and stuff. Uh, also, I gotta mention that this is a, a, a Superman movie where Lois Lane find out that Clark Kent is Superman. Okay. Uh, so uh, and in my opinion, I like Superman the movie and Superman two about the same. And I think Superman 2 is just as good as Superman the movie. Okay? Um, now, some people might have issue with, oh, Richard, uh, Richard left the version better, or Richard Donner version better. Hey, um, Superman 2 is good. Um, um, I will go watch Superman 3 and give you my thoughts and opinion on it. And Superman 4, I think Superman 4, some people might say the worst. Um, um, I will, I will, I will try to give you my thoughts and opinion on, uh, Superman Return. I think, I think I've seen like one or two times in my whole life, Superman Return. Um, but, um, and then I'll, I'll try to review all the Batman movies. Uh, so, um, I'm gonna say Superman 2, I like it just a month of Superman the movie. And it, it's good. Um, and like I said, but I'm gonna say that, uh, I haven't seen the movie, movie like a long time, so going back and watching these, uh, it, it refreshed my, my mind on the movie. And Christopher Reeve is the best, is, is the best Superman actor. Uh, now I will give you my thoughts and opinions on, um, uh, all the other Superman after when, when I review their movies, okay? Um, but I want to get Superman 2, same way that I get Superman the movie, an A+. Plus. And let's see if any other Superman movie that I review will get the A+, plus or come close to that, okay? But so far, I think Superman the movie and Superman 2 are the best Superman movies that ever been made. Well, I don't know yet, cause I got, I got to talk about Superman 3, Superman 4, and, uh, Super, uh Superman Return on the DC channel, and, and then next month, when I do my DCU movie review, I will talk about Man of Steel, and see how all that, uh, compares, and what I think is the best Superman movie, okay? So let me know. Uh, out of the first two, which one you think is the best? To me, I think, I think they're tied. I think, I think they're the best. Okay? Thank you.